viewers, I would like to solve this equation. By solving this equation, let me rewrite 9 to the power of x. This is the same thing as saying 3 to the power of 2. We have an x outside here, plus the same thing, 3 to the power of 2, having the x outside here, plus 3 to the power of x equals 1. Now, this equation can be written again as 3 to the power of x using the rule of indices 2 outside okay plus 3 to the power of x bringing out the 2 outside plus 3 to the power of x equals to 1 now here let y to be equals to 3 to the power of x so here i'm going to have y squared plus y squared plus y equals 1 here, yeah, y squared plus y squared is going to give me 2y squared plus y minus 1 equals 0. Now, using this is a quadratic equation, right? Now, using the rule of quadratic equation, here I'm going to have 2y squared plus 2y minus y minus 1 equals 0, okay? Because 2y minus y gives positive y. 2y times negative 1 is going to give me neg uh, 2, negative 2. Yeah, because the coefficient of a, um, y squared will be multiplying the c. Now, by proceeding with this, 2y, 2y is common to both sides. Factoring out 2y, I'm going to be left with y plus 1. Now here, let's factor out negative 1. Here, I'm going to have y plus 1 equals 0. Now, from here, we can see that y plus 1 is common to both sides. Factor it out. So, what we have left, we have 2y minus 1 equals 0. Now, looking at this, from here, we can see that y plus 1 equals 0. Or, you can say that 2y minus 1 equals 0. Now, solving further, here we have y to be negative 1. Or, we have y to be what 1 over 2 why because looking at this we have 2y to be equals to 1 dividing both sides by 2 y equals to 1 over 2 now we've gotten the value of y the two values of y what are the corresponding value of x recall that um, since we have y to be equals to 3 to the power of x okay so here we have in 3 to the power of x can never be equal to negative 1. This is very obvious, okay? But now, um, looking at the second part of it, can 3 to the power of x be equal to 2? So here we can have this, 3 to the power of x equals to half, which is the value of y. Applying logarithm to both sides, here you're going to have log 3 to the power of x equals to log half. Now, Taking the power to the back, we have x log 3 equals to what? Log half. And finally, I can say that my x is the same thing as log half base 3. Why? Because of the rule of logarithm that says that when you have log a over log b, is the same thing as log a base b. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please, if you find this very insightful, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.